Tamahome's personality had already been changed by Nakago's dose of Kodoku, even as Lady Miyaka eagerly awaited their reunion. Tamahome had seemingly forgotten everything and engaged Tatsuki in a fierce, nearly fatal battle. Using Chichiri's magical powers, the Lady Miyako was able to break through the barrier and return to Kona. Tamahome? However, memories of the Lady Miyako remain deep inside Tamahome's heart, which Nakago's poison could not erase. Hotohori received Chichiri's report of all that had occurred. He was shocked to hear that the priestess had been badly injured by Tamahome. Chichiri, are you completely certain of what you have just told me? Tamahome is not ever coming back to Conan? Is that what you are telling me? And it was Tamahome who caused the wound to Miyaka's arm. I just cannot believe it. Sire, it's possible it could be an internal manipulation. I think Tamahome may have swallowed Kodoku as well as be under some spell. And if that's the case, I'm afraid I cannot heal him. Koroku? Then that is why Miyaka did that. I told Come on. Goodbye. Forever. How could this be? There you go, Priestess. You'll be fine now. Thanks a lot, Mitsukake. Please be sure and heal Toski too, okay? Oh. Hmm? Never mind. Just get some rest now. Oh. Um, uh, tell me a melody you'd like to hear and I'll play it for you, okay? Oh, do I have to? Go on. Name anything you want to. I'll play it. Hmm. Uh, okay. I'd like to hear something by Bees, Chaga, Asuka, or Dreams Come True. Uh, that must be folk music from somewhere, huh? <laughs> Can't you do that a little softer? It feels like you're trying to kill me! You have three broken ribs, a left arm and leg broken, multiple contusions and sprains all over. If you can live through that, then nothing I do will kill you. I'll heal you once my power is regenerated. That's no excuse for not treating me like a human being. Wait a sec, what about Miyaka? You used your power to cure her, didn't you? I could only heal her exterior wounds, not the damage that's been done to her heart. Don't let us bother you, Chiriko. Otohori, I'm sorry. It's hopeless. Now we can't summon Suzaku. Never mind all that. The only thing that matters to me is that you recover. Mm. Mitsukaki healed my arm! That is not what I meant. Huh? Come on, I'm fine now. I am, really. There's nothing 
nothing anyone can do about Tamahome, so I've given up on him. I'm perfectly fine now. <laughs> you do not have to force yourself to be cheerful. I'm not forcing myself. You cannot be perfectly fine, can you? For you, Tamahome has been... I'm fine! I said I was fine, so drop it! Can't you just leave me alone? There are some times when even I like to be by myself. <gasps> I'm sorry. Odori. Ah, uh, well, we better go too, Mihaka. <laughs> Your Majesty? <gasps> I am so ashamed that I can do nothing for her. She has been hurt badly and is in so much pain, and I had no idea what to say to her. It grieved me to see Miyaka suffer, yet force herself to smile. And still, when I tried to offer her some comfort, I did nothing to soothe her spirits. I only made it worse. Ow! Are you all right, Tamahome? Yeah. The scratches aren't that bad, really. Just a few more minutes with him, and I'd have killed that guy, Toski. <sighs> but even if you had killed Toski and Chichiti, you wouldn't have killed Miyaka, would you? What are you talking about, Yui? It's true. Or then what was all your crying about, huh? It was because Miyaka was leaving you, wasn't it? Ha! <laughs> Tamahome! Remember I told you I belong to you. It's true that Tamahome belongs to me now. But this Tamahome is... Goodbye. Goodbye, Goodbye Tamahome. Goodbye, my love. I'm sorry, Yui. Why? Why did I suddenly see that girl's face? I'll have to kill her right away in order to rid my system of her. I'd better find her. Otohori, he must be so mad now. After the terrible way I spoke to him. What am I going to do now? Tamahome and Yui aren't coming back. I won't be able to summon Suzaku. And I'll never get back to my own world. Huh? This is where Tamahome stayed. Tamahome's clothes. They still smell like him. A lie. It's a lie. I'm not fine at all. From the moment we met, I could look to him and he was always there for me. I was able to survive in this world because Tamahome was beside me. But not anymore. <laughs> This rain won't let up anytime soon. It looks like a real storm out there. Miyaka! I brought you some food. I had them prepare some of your favorite dishes for you. Huh? Miyaka! So you think that Miyaka has disappeared? Are you sure? I can't find her anywhere, sire. And she left this note. Could she be? Please, Miyaka, don't hurt yourself. Do you hear me, Miyaka? Don't go near that stupid book again! Keisuke, this is what I get for not listening to you. I wanted to see Mom at least one more time, but now 
I can't go home. I have nowhere to go. Time to die. Tamahome? Huh? Huh? Miyaka. Tamahome? belongs to his majesty. Miyaka! Don't give up! You must not die! Shinsaku, give me strength! I care not what happens to me, but Miyaka must not die! Miyaka! Ah, what is that? Miyaka, His Highness! Uh, Miyaka! <sighs> It'll be alright. She's still alive and breathing. Thank goodness. Miyaka? Otohori? Everything is all right now, Miyaka. You have made it through safely. What happened? Where am I? I'm still alive after all that? How could it be? Uh, 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 oh. <laughs> I am relieved to see you so energetic again. I can barely remember hearing a voice calling me just before I passed out. Was it him? Miyaka! He looks pale. Did he save me after all the things I've said to him? I'm sorry! Oh, I'm so sorry for being so stupid! It's all right, Miyaka. Please don't cry now. I will spend my entire life protecting you. I'll stay with you always. I want you here with me to share in all my days. Otohori. I have long had to control my feelings for you, but I will not any longer. Now there is nothing left to stand in the way of them. Let me try to help you forget about Tamahome, because I love you dearly, Miyaka. Otohori, I have to... I... I have to... So, this is the capital of Conan, huh? This time, I'll make sure I kill her. Prepare to die. Priestess of Suzaku.
Otohori. Did you know I have always been in love with you? And I want... I want you to love me. Otohori. Mm. Otohori. <gasps> I'm sorry. I'm not ready yet. Of course. I can understand that. You should think it over carefully. I will stay here with you, so just relax and get some sleep. His warm hands, his gentle voice. Hotohori really does care for me. I've always known it, but I never acknowledged it or responded to him before. I should return his feelings. That's the best thing to do. Then I'll be able to forget. I know I'll be able to forget him. Oh, Your Majesty, you really are a noble hero. That's not it. It would be better as... Maybe I should try drowning myself. <laughs> You'd still be underwater. But if Tamahome never comes back here, we can't summon Suzaku, right? What'll we do? Okay, your shift's over. Uh. Huh? Who's there? And you allowed Tamahome to go to Conan? Why? He wanted the assignment. He volunteered for it. I'm going to kill the priestess of Suzaku. I'm hoping he'll kill all the rest of the Suzaku Seven, especially their emperor, Saihi, better known as Hotohori. It occurred to me that since he's one of Suzaku's followers, any barriers they have won't affect him. You're lying! You know you plan to use him for this from the very beginning! Your words wound me. It was what you wished for, remember? I brought him here for your sake. Everything I've done has been to make you happy. Do you really think that any of this sordid business makes me happy? Hotohori stayed with me. Uh, I'm surprised he kept right on holding my hand. He really does look sweet when he's asleep. Maybe I could fall in love with someone like him. Hotohori, I was just thinking about what you said before, and I think I might be ready to... Highness, the guard reports that a traitor has slipped inside of the central palace. A traitor? Your Majesty, according to my men, it's a warrior of the Suzaku Seven. They say it's Master Tamahome, sire. Tamahome? <gasps> Is he here to try to kill me? <gasps> Hotohori? <gasps> What are you doing? Miyaka, stay in there until I have dealt with this and it is over. Am I clear? Do not open this door for anyone. I will protect you with my life. Don't worry. I'll be back soon. Hotohori, what'll he do? Hotohori, wait! Miyaka, I cannot forgive anyone who hurts you, no matter who it is. Even one whom heaven has fated to be my friend. Wait a minute, Jiriko. Is it really Tamahome? You're sure about that? Quite sure. I overheard the guards talking and they... <gasps> Where is the priestess of Suzaku? T tamahome How dare you! You've got some nerve! Tamahome arrived in Konan 
to kill the priestess of Suzaku. He now prepared to confront the Suzaku warriors who stood before him as her protectors. This doesn't concern you. Where's the priestess of Suzaku? Tamahome! What are you doing, sire? The priestess of Suzaku is safe. I will never let you lay one finger on Miyaka again! The time for words is now over. Defend yourself! Tamahome! Mind controlled by Nakago's spell, Tamahome has become an agent of the Seiryu General. Hotohori must use all his strength and will to defeat him. Still, his heart is frozen in resolve to kill the priestess of Suzaku. Only the touch of Lady Miyaka's lips can melt it. Next time, I'll never leave you. When he awakens, he will find a faithful heart.